this is a quick video on May 4th um, showing some of the progress of the hanging baskets or uh, combo pots. So here's a nice one with a showy foliage geranium, um, a black uh, sweet potato vine. And here's one of the things I did talk about. You would have loved the timing of this to not have the flowers be spent. So when you're timing out, in general, you'd love it to be at that really fresh stage of all of the buds being ready to open. Here's another one with some of our red petunia, and again, that black sweet potato vine. Here is one with some angel wing or dragon wing begonias and a little uh, sedgy plant and that little dichondra silver falls. So that has a, such a different look from this one to that one. And that's a lot about color combo. It's also about the, the nature of different plants and different colors. Here is a sweet potato vine intermingled with a red petunia. You can tell it's a little past where you want the sweet potato vine. Um, what I would normally do if we had time is we'd just clip this off right here. We've got a lot of vine there. We'd clip it off and we'd root this tip because sweet potato vines root really well. So probably before we get rid of it, we'll do that. Here is some of our lovely um, sort of trailing begonias. Um, one of my favorite styles and they look just beautiful in the basket. So again, we're going to wire up the basket and talk about that. Here are some of those lovely scented begonias. Here is the mix of houseplants in a mixed pot where we see the Tradescantia purple heart and the little flowers they get. You can also see the spider plant and they're starting to get the little spiders as well as the sedum and all of those are coexisting fairly nicely. And that's one of the interesting things to note about that sedum is it can take pretty dry conditions, but it also tolerates a lot of moisture. So a lot of choices on where to use that plant. Okay, we're gonna show a couple more. Over here, you can see a coleus with sweet potato vine. Here's a mix of a begonia and two different colors of sweet potato vine. Here is our nice edible mix with the variegated sage, the thyme, and way in the middle, the rosemary. There is a basket of purple petunias with the little uh, center uh, Fairchild red uh, barely being visible. Okay, I'm gonna zip around and show you a couple more just so you can track down your basket and do a little journaling of it. Okay, so here are a couple more baskets. This one has the tricolor sweet potato vine, a red petunia, and the penicetum rubrum, as well as on the other side, a black sweet potato vine. Here again is our coral uh, sedum, a full ball of growth that looks really pretty when it's on a hanging basket. Uh, here's another one with a similar combo, red sweet potato vine, penicetum, and the red petunia. Here is one where we see the little, the lovely little um, dangling begonia mixed with a really nice pink edged um, sweet potato vine. And there again, back here is that Fairchild red, which really wasn't quite big enough, vigorous enough to compete with the others in this. Here's a nice combo of the really pretty coleus and the red uh, petunia mixed in with a sweet potato vine. So again, I hope you saw your combo. And then as we go along, just kind of give me one more overview of everything there. We moved them around a little bit to accommodate spacing and also to give the ones that need a little more sun a little more sun and the ones that can tolerate a little more shade are in a shadier zone. So hopefully you've identified yours and you can kind of journal on how your basket is doing. I think we did the timing on this actually really well. I'm gonna look at somebody's tag here. Um, so they were, they were planted on March 11th and I think that's perfect timing for when most of the baskets in the mixed pot sell, which is right around Mother's Day. So again, I think we got the timing on the baskets 
pretty well and they all look really good, not so overgrown that we've had to cut back and not so small that they look kind of wimpy. So these would be premium pots and premium baskets especially aimed at being sold for Mother's Day, which is about seven days away.